Hey everybody, this is Eric Halterman here from Rotowire. Uh, I'm going to be going over how to use our MLB lineup optimizer. I'm going over just the basics of how to use the tool as well as some more uh, advanced tricks for people who have been using it for a while. Uh, before we get into the specifics, I want to point out that the optimizer is a tool where you get out of it, I think, what you put into it. If you have just you know, two minutes and you want to play a lineup, you can just click generate lineup and you'll have a perfectly playable lineup. Uh, that's a very acceptable way to use the tool. Uh, but if you want a lineup that feels you know, more your own, obviously the projections we have are quite good. In this video, we're going to go over the basics of how to make a lineup, uh, looking at different types of slates, different types of games, and looking at all the information we have down here on this main part of the screen. I will get into what each of these columns does as we go along. We're going to start here by generating a lineup for FanDuel, although the information here will work for pretty much any of the other sites here, just with uh, minor differences for each given site. So it's uh, currently Sunday afternoon, uh, a little bit too late to catch the early games. So we're going to select late here on the slate. And what that does is it's going to filter the available players down by uh, just the games that are on this late slate. As you can see here, here's the schedule. Although I think by the time we finish recording this video, the 2 p.m. starts will already be done. So I'm gonna exclude those here. Uh, you can, in this area, exclude entire games. You can exclude entire times. And you can see it's just players from those games included here. Uh, we can just click the optimal lineup button and we'll get a lineup right away. Uh, on some sites such as DraftKings, they'll require you to make one or two actions before starting. Uh, to make an action, you go down to the main part of the screen here and you click the gears next to a player's name. The easiest way to satisfy the requirement uh, for making a couple actions is just to find a guy who's injured. Let's say Chad Pinder probably isn't gonna do much because he's injured. So we're going to click exclude. Uh, when you click exclude, it does exactly what you would think it does. It deletes him uh, from this part of the optimizer and he will not be at any of your lineups. Uh, the other options you can do are to lock a player. Uh, let's say that I really am in on Joe Musgrove tonight. I think he's gonna have another no hitter. Uh, so let's click lock. And that's actually gonna fade all the other pitchers because on FanDuel, uh, you only get one pitcher in your lineup, and obviously you can't lock multiple pitchers. If you try to do that, nothing's going to happen. Uh, the third type of action you can do is to like a pitcher, or like any player. Uh, that's not quite like lock, uh, because it doesn't guarantee that they'll be in your lineup. But what it does is if you see this projected fantasy points over here, it's going to bump them up by 20%. Um, so once we've taken some actions, let's say I really like Musgrove. Uh, maybe I like Mike Trout. Who doesn't like Mike Trout? Um, let's say I really like Shohei Otani. I uh, note that I'm not looking at any of the actual matchups here, so who knows if they're actually good tonight, although Trout, Otani, Musgrove, probably good most of the time. Uh, so we've got, we've given it some input here. We've bumped the projections of these guys, and then we're going to click Generate a Lineup. And it's going to think for a second and generate a lineup. And what do you know? We've got at least some of the guys we liked in here. Uh, Otani, even with the boost, wasn't quite good enough to get included. But we've got Musgrove as our pitcher and Mike Trout as one of our top hitters. Uh, once we made this lineup, uh, if we like it, we could just use it. But we can also, you know, let's, let's generate a few options to look at. Let's click Generate Additional. And it should give us not just the top lineup, but the five best lineup. There's going to have pretty minor differences. You'll see a lot of guys repeated. But one of the ways I like to use the tool is to not necessarily just click the button and take that lineup, but to look at a bunch of different potential options, use it as help brainstorming. And if I see that certain guys keep popping up over and over again, uh, maybe there's somebody I want to think about using. All right, we're going to clear those lineups here so that I can show a few more things down in the body of the optimizer. Um, remember how I noted that the like button bumps somebody's projected points by 20%? You can actually bump them however you want. 
Um, if you think you know more than the projections here, which, hey, maybe you do, uh, let's say you're just certain that Tatis is going to have a big game. Let's plug him in for 22 points. And let's say, instead of liking Mike Trout, you are the one person in the world who's figured out that Mike Trout actually isn't good at baseball. So we're going to give him just two points. Um, you can spend as long as you want here. Uh, if you bothered to project every result by hand, you could plug in a projected fantasy points for everybody and use the optimizer to come up with the most efficient lineup given exactly what you think is going to happen in the game. All right, so now you've seen the basics of generating a lineup, generating multiple lineups, uh, modifying projected points, uh, thumbing up players, excluding players, locking players. Uh, I'm going to go over a bit more about what each of the columns in the bulk of the optimizer here does. Let's our columns that'll help you make uh, more advanced calls. The value column here, actually, I'm going to show you this legend button, which will tell you exactly how it's explained down here. Predicted fantasy points scored for every thousand dollars used in salary cap when including a player in a lineup. So basically, it's a clean number that tells you who's the most efficient use of your budget. This right here is the team run total. So it's in theory a little bit more useful than the over under is exactly how many runs the books think a given team is going to score. Seems like a lot of runs are projected for Oakland tonight, as we would expect, given that they're big favorites and have a fairly high over under. So again, yet more reason to maybe think about uh, including a bunch of A's. This right here is the roster ship uh, percentage projection. Uh, this is a projection of how many other people are going to select the player. Uh, the next thing to talk about here is stacks. Um, stacks are a very important part of any good fantasy lineup in pretty much any sport, uh, especially in bigger contests. Uh, what a stack is is multiple players from the same team in your lineup. Uh, the reason that is generally a good idea is, for example, if one player hits a homer and knocks in the other two, that's just one event, but you got a home run, three runs, and three RBI out of just one single plate appearance. Whereas if you had guys from all different teams, you'd need multiple things to go right at once. Uh, so especially in bigger tournaments, stacks are especially important because you need good luck to take the whole thing down anyway. And in that case, maybe that good luck comes from you know, your one hitter knocking in your other two twice rather than hoping that everybody individually has a good game in eight separate contests. Uh, so the way we make stacks here is we've been hanging out just on this players tab, uh, which is where you'll spend the bulk of your time on the optimizer. But if you click right here, stacks, you'll see all these different options for how to generate stacks. Uh, we can look at just specific teams or we can go from all teams. Let's stay with all teams for now. Uh, different types of stacks to look at. Let's go with hot batters over the last seven games. Uh, that's a smaller sample than I might normally look at, but just for the purposes of an example, it should work. I'll click generate stacks. And we've got a couple different options here. Um, it gives you the total salary of the stack, the total points, and the projected value, which we talked about earlier. Um, let's say for whatever reason I don't like this Diamondback stack, even though it's a better value than this Seattle stack. I'll click on the use stack here for this Mariner stack. And now you see it says unlock. That's because what happens when you click that use stack button is it automatically locks all the players. If we go back to this player screen and we scroll down until we start finding some of those Mariners, there they are. They're all locked. And now when I click generate optimal lineup, it should have all those Mariners in it, as you can see here. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about here is uh, uploading multiple lineups to sites like FanDuel. So we've made a lineup here that we just talked about with our stack of Mariners. Uh, we're going to click Save Lineup and Get Alerts. And we're actually going to generate a couple more lineups because this is a tool that only works for multi-entry contests. So let's say I really like that Mariner stack. I'm not sure what I want to put around it. So let's generate two more. 
And you'll notice my Mariner stack is still here. They'll look pretty similar, but there should be minor differences. Guess we really like Dylan Bundy today. I'm going to click Save Lineup on each of these. And then I'm going to scroll up here, navigate over to the Saved Lineups tool, which does, surprisingly, exactly what you'd expect. It shows our saved lineups. All right, we're going to follow the instructions here. We've already done the first two. We've selected all of them. And we're going to click the blue Export Lineups button. It's going to open this box here. We have to find a contest on FanDuel that we can put these lineups in, which I have prepared already uh, with some little cooking show magic here. I'm going to grab the URL from up here. I know that this is a multi-entry contest, which is the only uh, area this tool works for on FanDuel, as far as I know. We're going to grab that URL and paste it right down here, and then hit Export Lineups. That is going to create a CSV, as you can see down here. Now I'm going to go to this contest in FanDuel, scroll down to where it says Upload Lineups from CSV. I'm going to choose the file. And here you can see the exciting things I download, which are mostly lineups and earned auction values and fan graphs leaderboards. I wonder if you can guess what my job might be. Anyway, we're going to pull this last one here and click Upload. And it found all of them. Three lineups detected, $3 in entry fees required. So we're going to hit Enter. And they're all entered. Um, Pretty straightforward process. And again, you can review the instructions here. So that about wraps it up here. We've gone over how to look at different slates, how to select individual games uh, to exclude or include, uh, how to perform some actions, how to lock, exclude like players, how to change the projections, or avoid players that you particularly dislike. We've gone over all these extra bits of information here. And again, just want to reiterate that it's a tool that you get out of it, however much you put into it. You can just click this lineup and play this lineup and have some players to root for tonight. Or you can play around really as long as you want. Use this optimizer as essentially brainstorming help and meld your mind with the machine and come up with uh, the lineup that's perfect for you. Try Rotowire today, free for 10 days. Get our premium tools, rankings, analysis, and breaking news alerts. No credit card required. Go to rotowire.com forward slash try.